Panther. Uh, this area is known as Panther Hollow. It uh, hasn't changed much over the years. This was a bustling place back when it first started. Uh, this was one of the three construction yards that were in this area. This area here was Trope Construction Company. He built most of the high schools in the Pittsburgh, in the Pittsburgh and outlining areas. He was responsible mostly for school construction. Okay. This was the Orioles grocery store. This woman took uh, mostly on books, kept books, and gave most of the people down here credit, and kept them going through hard times. This area here was Bano property. There was a railroad track that came through here. Most of the buildings, most of these companies got their supplies here. Isley's had refrigerator cars they unloaded here. And the stone that built pit, and the stone that built pit was brought down here on railroad cars to build pit. This was all cinder field here, all along railroad property. Up there's where the train ran, old steam engines all day long pulling cars. And up on top of there was Pilp's Conservatory, up top of the mountain above that ice up here. This is all this area you could walk to. You could walk to Oakland from here, right in the heart of Oakland, in no time at all. Up the road there, you could go up this way, up that dirt road, and you were Square Hill, East Liberty, all close to you. Or straight down here, this road used to be open. It would take you down into Hazelwood, 2nd Avenue, Jane L. This is our, and down below here was a big Allegheny Asphalt Company owned by the old uh, Mayor Lawrence of Pittsburgh. The top of the hill here was a store, Sycamore store. This hill is where we sled ride. We used to sled ride all down this hill, all the way up the street in the winter time. You rode on tin cans down <laughs> the hill. That area, the area up this here, was a coal temple. Railroad cars would unload coal in the big bends, and trucks would come down. The Champion Coal Company. Back then, everybody heated furnace heat was coal, and it was a big business, coal business here. Right up top of the hill here was a lake. They used to stock it with catfish and carp for fishing, and in the winter time, it froze. There's a big boathouse up here. We used it for ice skating. It had a fireplace in it, and all the kids would go up there in the winter to ice skate. People come from all over. To the ice skate there. Uh, what was it like growing up down here as a kid? Well, this area here, there was old construction equipment. Steam shovel and some other stuff here we used to play on. And uh, there was no, no traffic down here. When I, then back here, I think three, two people down here had vehicles. One of the people that owned the store had a truck that they picked produce up. And another man had a car. Other than that, there was very few vehicles when I was a kid down here. I'm talking back in the 40s and 50s. All this area used to, uh, there was trees back here that had apples on them. Up in the back, big green apples. We used to go there and in the summertime and pick apples, put salt on them, eat apples. They had gardens back here. It was pretty nice growing up here because everybody knew everybody. It was a small, like a little community in the middle of, of the, the area. And it was, everybody knew who you were, or where you belonged, and it was no problems, and it was a lot of fun. Were there a lot of uh, people who just came over from Italy down here, or were they descendants of immigrants? Generally speaking, most of them came from Italy here. My father's father came here. He was a gardener for big estate up on 5th Fifth, Fifth Avenue and my dad came here when he was nine years old from Italy came down here and this is where he stayed he was born and raised here he raised his family here I lived here till I was 20 years old 21 years old before I got out of here all the houses are the same except for maybe painted a little different work done on them there's no new buildings added down here at all. A few tore down. There was no new construction, no new houses or nothing here. Everything you see here has been here. And the streets were, streets were uh, muddy 
and then they paved them uh, in uh, John Keir Hill. I'm telling them in John Keir Hill in the winter time, very few cars made it out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs>